how, how to tell you how to identify a good Chinese blue and white piece official came during top of the Qing Dynasty. This one's made in Qinglong period, and um, you can see it's a very nice size, nice piece. The underglazed blue is just wonderful with dragon and phoenix, represent a royal marriage. And, um, and the ring mark is a Qinglong period, and you can see also see the, the foot rim is very smooth. This one is a very fine texture. The glaze is very thick, and under glaze blue is just unreal. It's such a dark, nice blue color. So Kim Nong period, that's one of the best example, best piece. One of them they sold for uh, almost like 20 million US dollar. I mean, it's just unreal. This one is the top piece, one of the top piece, represent the pinnacle of the Chinese blue and white ceramic pieces in Qing Dynasty. And, um, and this one is called Moon Flask. It's, um, it's an A-faceted Moon Flask. Look at it, the shape is so unreal. It's very difficult to make this kind of Moon Flask with faceted size 8. And this one, is this, there's not too many of this in the world. This one similar cell to this, a lot of money, almost like 20 million US dollars. Now, the other, the other example piece that I have is a blue and white piece. And this one is a flowers and fruit. And uh, this one, the, the underglaze blue and white is a little bit different from this one. This is a little bit like blurry, not as a bright uh, blue. This one is a little bit, you know, vague and low haze and also look at the, um, the underglaze blue, the mark. So this represents the pinnacle of the official kiln of the Chinese blue and white. Now, after this, anything, it doesn't look good, like gray color, it doesn't look good, it's no good. So these two represent the pinnacle of the Qing dynasty, Chinese uh, blue and white ways. Okay, see you next time.